Hey guys, hope you're doing well. What's up? I haven't talked to you in a while. I've been crazy busy. Um, but I wanted to say before I got started on this video, thank you to, so much to those who have subscribed to my channel. Even if you haven't subscribed, just watching my videos, I really am shocked that anybody wants to watch me or cares to watch me. Um, but I really, really appreciate it. I just think this is so much fun. I think making videos is fun. I think showing products I love is so much fun and showing um, unboxings and things like that. So I just want to say thank you really quick because it's just been crazy to me to see like that anybody wants to watch my videos and anybody has subscribed. So thank you so much. With that being said, let's do Birchbox versus Ipsy August 2015. Woohoo! So can't remember which one I started with last time. I think it was Birchbox. So I'm going to start with Birchbox again. But this is the Birchbox for August. It's a cool, really, really cute, and just a blue on the back. Um, Birchbox, if you don't know, is $10 a month, and you get sample size products, sometimes deluxe sample size products of makeup, hair care, skin care, all that fun stuff. So I'll leave more information in the description about how you can get it and the, a link for you. But yeah, let's just go ahead and open it up. So, <clears throat> this month, it's the theme is Soak It Up. Um, and it says, as summer peaks temp-wise and watermelon consumption-wise, we're taking advantage of every last minute. That means embracing air-dried hair, ensuring our skin is SPF heavy, and keeping our makeup minimal. We hope you love this one's samples and can't wait to see how you use them. So, this is the little card, cute little beach. You guys, I can't believe that it's the middle of August already. I know I said that in my last video, I think, that I couldn't believe it was August, but it's already now the middle of August. Like, summer's almost over, which makes me really sad, but I like this picture. This makes me happy. It makes me think there's still some time. Okay, and also, we also came with um, a special offer, Don't Sweat It, for bright eyes that can outlast the heat, try Marcel's Mini Waterproof Eyeliner Kit for just $18. And it's originally a $35 value. So this must be on birchbox.com. And then on the back it says get a full size bottle of Marcel Gentle Makeup Remover with any Marcel purchase. So there's the back. So yeah, so that's a nice little bonus. Um, I don't typically use these bonuses just because I have tons of makeup. I don't need to buy any more. Um, but I do love birchbox.com. I think they have really nice stuff on there. And, you know, if you really find a product you love and you want to purchase it, then by all means I think that these little coupons are great so everything that came with it is on the back so I may be referring to this as we go through um okay so the first thing is this Orbe shampoo for beautiful color shampoo and conditioner for beautiful color now if you've watched any of my other videos you know how I feel about foil packets I'm not a big fan mainly because they're not easy to use um, and sometimes I find that you can get more than one use out of them, and then it's just kind of awkward. Like, what do you do with it when it's, like, you still have product left, and you don't want it to dry out, all that stuff. But, um, I know Orbe is a wonderful brand. It's an expensive brand, so I'm always happy to get a sample of something from them. And, yeah, I think this is probably going to smell nice, too, because all their products smell really nice. But this is the first thing. Okay, the next thing is Saint-Tropez... Um, gradual tan in shower, in shower tanning lotion. So, how does this work? Let's see. Fully cleanse and wash in a warm shower. With the shower off, generously apply in circular motions to wet skin and create an even coverage. Um, wash palms after application. Wait three minutes and then fully rinse off with warm water only. Huh. I have never heard of anything like this, but this is super cool. I hate the smell of self-tanner, too, so I'm hoping that this is, like, I thought this might have a cap, actually. Yeah, it has a cap. Um, I'm hoping that this, because you wash it off, doesn't smell as strong as, like, when you just put on a regular self-tanner lotion. But I love now that they're coming out with a lot of products that you can use in the shower. So, like, um, for example, Lush's Rose Argon Body Conditioner, you put that on and you rinse it off and... It's like you have moisturizer on already. You don't need to moisturize after the shower. Um, this type of thing, I just I think it's great. You can multitask when you're in the shower anyways. You have to take a shower anyways, so you might as well, you know, try to do some things like and save some time out of the shower. So like moisturize, tan, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll give this a try. I'll try it hopefully soon because, you know, 
summer's almost over and I don't want to look super dark in the winter because I live in Chicago and that doesn't make sense here. Anyways, moving on. So this next product is a product I selected. Um, each month Birchbox gives you the ex gives you the option to select one of your samples. So um, they give you like five options and then you pick one. So this is the Rusk Mousse Volumizing Mousse, the medium hold. So I know nothing about this brand and I know nothing about their products, but I thought it was cool and um, I'm always looking to add more volume to my hair. Um, especially now that it's shorter, I kind of want to add a little bit more volume to it. But, um, by the way, the lighting is terrible. I'm sorry. It's like gray and rainy out. Um, but anyways, yeah, I always want to try to add some volume to my hair and it's medium hold. So hopefully it'll stay. So yeah, this is this product. Okay. The next thing is large. So I'm trying to grab it. It takes up like this whole box. Here it is. Okay. It is the Vital Hydro Solution Deep Hydration Sheet Max from Dr. Jarts. This is huge and it's awesome. And it, there's all sorts of different languages on the back. But it is a sheet mask. Um, hydration, self-explanatory kind of. You leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes and then take it off and then rub in the excess product. I love doing masks. I love sheet masks. So um, even though you look like, you know, Hannibal Lecter when you wear one, I'm really excited to try this. I think these are great. And this is a really big product. So hopefully it'll cover your whole face because some masks don't always do that. So anyway, this is the Dr. Jart Vital Hydra Solution Face Mask. Okay, now to open the little box. A um, couple products in here. The first one is by Oribe, again. It's a mask for beautiful color. So this is nice. You can use the shampoo and the conditioner and then the mask. That's awesome. Um, and like I said, Oribe is an expensive product. Like for this mask alone, it's $59. So that's $60 for a hair mask. That crazy. So anyways, I'm really, really excited that, um, oh, it smells good. I'm really, really excited that they gave us a sample because I'm not going to spend $60 on the hair mask. It's bad enough that I spent $30 on the macadamia one. I don't need to spend any more money on hair masks. So, yes, I'm going to give this a try with the shampoo and conditioner, and hopefully my hair will feel very, very smooth. And the last thing in here looks to be from the balm. Yes, it is. It is Balm Desert Bronzer Blush. Here's that packaging. The Balm, hands down, has some of the best packaging of makeup ever. It is so cute. I love it. Um, and the color is Take a Dip. And that's what it looks like. I'm trying to sh show you in the, the better light. Um, it's very light. It's a very light bronzer. But that's fine because I'm pretty fair. So, um, And it feels like it blends nicely. I mean, the Balm has a great product. They have their Bahama Mama bronzer, which is really dark. But I use that for contouring. So this is the color. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, you, you're not going to be able to see it on this camera, but it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. So yes, I really like it, and this is great. I love the balm samples, and they always last really, really long. I have a blush that I got in a birch box like a year or two ago, and it's still still going. So that's birch box. So that is box number one. Now, moving on to Ipsy. Sorry, this is kind of a long video, but I just have a lot to say today, I guess. Um, so, Ipsy. So, this is the bag this month. It's this really cute houndstooth pattern. The theme, excuse me, the theme is prep school. So, you can see here. And it's made out of, like, a plasticky material, which I really like because it's very durable and waterproof. So, that's really nice. Um, and I like the hot pink zipper. Okay, so... Inside, the first thing I am seeing is this Marc Anthony True Professional Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco. In this cool little tube. So it just pops open like this. I don't know. It's capped, but um, so I'm not going to open it at the moment. But yeah, just a hair oil, um, which is great because I feel like you can really never have enough hair oils. I think that hair oil and moisturizer 
are two of the things that you can never have enough of. I know I say that about a lot of products, but for reals, because you're always going to want to keep your face moisturized and hydrated, and your hair. The same should go with your hair. So unless you have really, really oily hair naturally, um, you'll probably want to use a hair oil. So I'm excited to try this one. I don't know if I've ever tried anything by Mark Anthony. I mean, I've heard of them, but not sure if I've ever tried anything by them. Okay, the next thing looks to be an eyeliner. Yes, by, oh my goodness, how do you say this? I'm going to end up saying it, like, wrong. Do say? D-O-U-C-C-E. It kind of looks like another word, but I don't want to say that. Um, anyways, Ultra Preci Precision Eyeliner. So this is the brand. And it's just black, but it's black black. Very pretty. I actually like, it goes on very smoothly. Um, it's actually not as jet black as I would have thought. It's more of a, like a creamy black, but I don't mind it. It's pretty. I think it'll probably be really nice for the lower lash line. I don't think it's waterproof. Oh, it is waterproof. Yeah, so this will be really great for lower lower waterline, lower lash line. So this is Juice Cosmetics Eyeliner. Okay, three more products? Yes, three more products left. The next one is by Jessie's Girl. Um, it's an eyeshadow primer. I've never heard of this brand before. Actually, that's a lie. I've heard of it, but I've never, ever tried anything by it. Um, okay, so it's just like a very milky, creamy eyeshadow primer. Looks like it'll blend in really nicely and not be too heavy. Is it right here? Um, yeah. Oh, that feels really nice. Hopefully it works. I'm excited to try this. I'm almost out of my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer sample that I was using, and I showed an empties video. Um, so I'm going to give this a try next by Jessie's Girl. Two products left. The next thing is a lip liner, um, and it is by Ofra, and it is in the color Wine. So from the start, actually, this looks a little bit like Max Whirl. Max Whirl, maybe a little bit more like brown, brownie nude in it, but this is the liner. This is what the color looks like. Wine. Ooh. So it's definitely got like a lot of nude tones in, in it. A little bit of red, a little bit of brown. But it's, I think it's going to be a really nice color for the fall. It definitely reminds me of Max Whirl, but a little bit browner instead of pink. I think Max Whirl has a little bit more pink in it. So that's cool. I love lip liners. And I don't have very many, so I'm happy to have it. Okay, the last thing is a lip gloss by Hikari. Mine is in the color Salsa, so I hope it's red. Ooh, it is, girl. Okay, Hikari. This is the color. Oh my gosh, sorry, the glare is bad. Um, it, it looks to just be like a red. Actually, it looks to be very, like, ready orange. Ooh, that is thick. That is thick. It doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. That is so pretty. I love it. Woohoo! I'm excited to try this out. I think this is so pretty. Hikari. I wear red mostly in the fall. Um, I'm not bold enough to wear it in the summertime, but this has a little bit of orange to it, or an orange tint to it, so maybe I'll give it a try. But anyways, that was everything that was in the Ipsy bag and the Birchbox bag. Um, if I had to pick a winner this month, I'm going to go with Ipsy. I am happy because I got four makeup products from Ipsy. Four out of the five products were makeup products. I love makeup products. Um, and then a hair product. Whereas Birchbox, you did get more products. I think I got six. Well, if you count the shampoo and conditioner as two. Um, but those are great products too. But I, I'm kind of excited like that Ipsy was makeup heavy this month because... I just love makeup. So, anyways, let me know what you thought of these boxes. Which one was your favorite? Did you get any of these products? Have you tried them? Um, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you'd like to watch these videos or if you like beauty videos in general. I'll try to be more fun and do more things. So, you want to watch me. Um, but, anyways, I really appreciate those who have subscribed and those who've watched. Give it a thumbs up if you like unboxings and if you like Birchbox or Ipsy or just beauty in general. And I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye.